Well, hello, hello, my gorgeous Pisces. How are you? You know I love you. Thank you so very much for liking and subscribing and commenting. I so, so appreciate you. So, my gorgeous ones, this is going to be your love scope, love tarot, uh, weekend love scope, weekend love horoscope, weekend uh, forecast for the week ending in November 20th, 2016. I do want to remind everyone, or for those of you that are new, I am sponsored by IK Multimedia. They have been a blessing in my life. I use their iRig Mic Love, their iClip Grip, some of their software. Um, they make it very convenient and easy for me to um, be portable and do my work because I travel. So check them out at ikmultimedia.com. I'll have the link down below. Okay. All right, my gorgeous ones. Let's get started. In your first position, look at you. You have the Knight of Cups, so you have an offering being brought to you that is emotional. Now, the emotion is several emotions because this is a big group. Um, some of it's sadness, some of it's anger, some of it's happiness, some of it's bliss, some of it's excitement. Whatever this is, it's felt on an emotional level. Now, the reason I say this is because you have the justice. This is the energy to help you in this situation. Now, some of you will be dealing with legal papers, divorces, separation, moving out or moving in. Um, contracts. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. So, um, whatever this is, it's going to be balanced. So, if you've been clear and you've kept your integrity, then it will go your way. But if you've had rose-colored glasses and known what you're supposed to do and didn't want to do it because you wanted it to go one way, but it was clearly going to go another, it's going to balance, okay? But, some, but a lot of you will be happy. That's what I see. I just see the justice being balanced, okay? So what put you in this position is the Nine of Coins. So in love. You were being independent. You were understanding what you were doing. It was very grounded and practical uh, with money, if your love was in your money. Um, for others of you, you were working on yourself, understanding what you want, understanding what you want in love. I see you softening up. And that is what put you in this position. Some of you, it's the guy or the girl that's coming to have that committed relationship with you congratulations I do see that so to further that at the beginning of the weekend you have the six of swords this tells me with this news you will feel less anxious you will feel more calm you're coming out of stormy waters you can put down your swords and you see the light okay so congratulations I'm not going to get too detailed, but I will tell you someone is coming for some of you. Someone is going to be, like you're going to meet them. Yeah. Okay. For others of you, um, that's all they're letting me know about that. Okay. So in your fifth position, um, I always ask your higher self, what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love? And you have the Palace of Cups. They want to remind you about unconditional love. They want to remind you and let you know that they are helping you with this, okay? They're helping you open your heart. They're helping that person come in for you. They have heard what you want. Um, they have been emotionally bonded with you. Your higher self knows what you're wanting, okay? So... Um, I feel like with this offer, you'll feel better. And that's what they want you to know. You're going to feel better. Okay. Now, in your sixth position at the end of the weekend, see, not only do you have the seven, or the, I'm sorry, the six of swords, which is more calm, more stable, but you have the four of wands. So I feel like you're going to be walking through this door and walking into stability. I feel like some of you are very passionate about what you've been doing in love and I kind of hear like, oh, yeah. But they're not telling me who this is. I'm only feeling like some of you are going to meet someone. That's what I'm feeling like. So that's all I can tell you. 
I guess some of you, they don't want you to obsess about it. So in the eighth position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you. And some of you, it does have to do with the separation or divorce or the moving into or moving away from. You have the death card and that's how they see you. A new phase, out with the old, in with the new. Now, for some of you that just meet someone, they see it as a new phase. Out with the old, in with the new. They are ready for this beautiful love to be here. They have worked just as hard as you have. So, um, for others of you that are single and do not have someone coming in, they want to let you know they cannot bring someone in until you let go of the things that you need to let go of. And that's what the death card is about. Okay? You cannot receive your abundance if you don't let go of what no longer serves you. Okay? So, in your ninth position, <clears throat> this, the question I ask is, how do you want or need to be loved? And you have the Ace of Wands. You want passion. You want somebody to love you. You want somebody to be very sensual. You want to have a good time, but not just your emotion. You want not just your emotion. You want passion. You want the start. You want what it felt like when it first, when you two first started to be together. You want that for those of you that are with someone. You want to see the light. You want to be, you want it to be very clear. Yeah, that's how you want and need to be loved. That's not all, but that's part of. So in your 10th position, this is the overall outcome of what you'll be working towards or through. Yeah, this weekend. You have the full. The full is all about uh, helping you with new beginnings. The full is all about helping you with any stage that you're at. So the full has the energy to give you, you just tell it what direction you want to go in. And that's what you'll be doing this weekend. Okay. In love. Some of you, it's with someone new. Some of you, it's with the one that you have going to a new phase and others of you it is moving away from someone because it's time but either way they're going to help you that's what the full card's about okay yeah all right my beautiful pisces i love you love you love you until next time you know you want to press that like button bye